Hey guys, I'm Sam. I'm Jody. Welcome to our channel, Razor Focus. Again, we're back here and working on the razor. So what are we going to do today, Jody? Well, we wanted some more storage on the razor because we're fanatics about taking everything with us that we need and making sure that we're prepared for everything. So we found some an idea to put a cool box that will be water resistant, weather resistant, and we found a cool way to do it. So we're excited to show you. All right, well, let's get it going. Okay guys, so our plan is to put these two uh, boxes, one on each side. They are plastic, and you could probably use a metal ammo can. I just don't like the rattling, but uh, I put a spacer just so I get the, I'm just using a level and about an inch and a half cardboard box. And I'm just kind of going to set it in here and use that as a spacer so I can keep my angle. One of the things you want to make sure is as you open it, you'll be able to open it. So you gotta watch that new roll bar so you can open it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the boat plugs. And what I mean by boat plugs, just, and you can get these on Amazon, we'll put the link on it. These are little tie downs, they work in all the holes that you have for razors. And you uh, tighten them down and it's a good place to clamp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go a little different. So I'm going to take this off. Because we don't need the O-ring right now. I don't need the eye bolt. And so I've got some new bolts, 5 16 threaded. That will thread into it. And so the plan is to drill a hole that this will fit in in the bottom of that box. So it will hold on to the two holes that are right here. So... We're going to mark it with a sharpie and mark the where we're going to drill. We want to make the hole the size of the bolt. Yes, we're going to, I'm going to show you that. So let's get uh, set up so I can mark this here. Okay, so I got my handy dandy sharpie. I like the silver ones, especially on dark objects. It really shows up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the position in the box where I want it. Just kind of hold it there firmly. I'm going to go down the bottom here to the holes. And I'm going to mark it so I know where to drill. So and we're not drilling the hole as big as the hole is so that it'll have a tighter fit. Correct. And you can see here, those are where my, my holes need to be so I can uh, open it and function tightly. So let's uh, get to drilling. Okay, guys. So we've got both of them marked now. You can see why on our last video we are kind of picky about cleaning it. Because when you're working on it, especially on the bottom, and I'm just going to kind of eyeball the center for the mark. Just so I know where to, where to drill. And you can see that's not like a perfect circle that I created there. So that's probably the best one yet. So now what I'm going to do is I've got a 5 16 inch drill bit. I like the wood bits because they have a, a little tip on them, kind of a guide tip. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move my hand here so you can see. And I'm only going to drill just the uh, the nut size, bolt size, excuse me. And I'm going to keep it tight there. And you'll see why here in just a moment. Because uh, I don't want the bolt plug, per se, to tie into this. I'm going to do the same thing over here. It'll give it a tighter fit and it won't move as much too, though. What do you think? Should be a, a little tighter fit. Now, these have a little more flex to them, as I can see there. Uh, you know, an ammo can probably doesn't have that flex. But I wanted it to be black to match my razor. Uh, I could have spray painted some ammo cans. And one thing that ammo cans do that would drive me crazy is they rattle. And so... Uh, 
kind of my ADHD. I don't know if the rattling would be well. So let's go ahead and put one on and see what it looks like, Jody. What I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, got a half inch uh, socket, put it on my handy dandy ratchet, and let's uh, give it a try. Okay, so I'm going to put the plugs in. I'm going to just kind of put them in the holes here. They're, they're, they seem to go really quick when you're going in. So I'm going to just kind of go level. I don't want to fall through. That one may have to use a little hand adjustment. So I'm going to just push them up for so they don't fall through freely. So now what I'm going to do is get my two washers and two bolts. And if you look at the container here, Jody, I'm going to put that washer and that bolt. And I'm going to push it on through. So I'm going to do the same thing on both those. I don't know if you can kind of see in there. And the washer just stops the bolt from going all the way through. Well, it also gives it some, uh, Virginity. some bite room, I'll say. You know, I want to make sure it free spins. So, and I, you know, I, you could have probably put a little bigger hole, but I want it to fit just perfect. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to run this in here. And now what I want to do is put those bolts onto the plugs. Now, the hard part is it's hard to see there and hard to get my hand in here with the box, the big box. I may have to take the... Take this down through here. Okay, let's try this again. Short people problem, so I went ahead and removed the big box so I can see and line the holes up with the bolt. So bear with me one second here as I get lined up. Some of that is just because I'm a little short. No short jokes. There we go. And so now I'm going to start threading that in. So I make sure I got a thread there. And I'm going to do the same thing over here and there we go so now I'm gonna tighten it up here and if you look over here on the bottom Jody you'll be able to see how they how they hold so I'm just gonna kind of see that there it doesn't take much and it'll give it a good little squeeze so like, like, the foam. yep the, the rubber now, now if you come back up here, you'll see, I mean, I'm really, it's, it's, awesome. it's, it. it's going to go, it does overhang a little bit here, and because it is plastic, there's a little flex, but it's not going to have that annoying rattle for me, so let's go do the other side. All right, let's go ahead and get the other side here, and again, just, uh, I've got to angle it, sorry, so I can see here, and you line up those holes there it's almost easier just to set it down and and run it on I think I've got it now yeah there it goes yep it'll be the same thing uh, just a little compression fit now we'll see later on I may take those off if they're too annoying or tape it down or glue it down or something but just from my aspect of it so let's go ahead and Shrink to those down real quick. That's all there is to it. You know, again, great idea. And you don't have to really go a whole lot of torque on it. And see what you see. We've added two weatherproof areas. And uh. Uh, absolutely, it's great storage, and I want to say thank you to someone who kind of inspired this idea. Uh, we were talking about keeping stuff in the big container, and uh, I love their comment was, "Hey, uh, you got to keep some room for snacks." And I agree, obviously. And so they recommended putting like uh, some things in little canvas bags and bunging it. And you know us being neat freaks, we said, "Hey, let's come up with something a little different." And we came up with this idea. These are not expensive. They're like 10 bucks a piece. 
on Amazon. I'll put that link in there. And then the boat plugs, I'll put that link in there too. I think those are $16 or so for four. So that's going to be a great idea. Let's start loading it up. Hey, this is what our trunk looks like before we put some into the storage container so we have room for snacks. But we'll show you what it looks like after here in a sec. Okay, it's time to load them up and we'll show you how much space is left in our large trunk. Even though these look small, they're pretty mighty. So I'm excited to see what fits. What are we going to put in there? Well, here we have a synthetic wrench pulley assist. How long is it? that in there. Put Where are you putting all that in? In with our bubble rope that we love so much that is especially for this size of ATV and it will help if we ever get stuck or when we ever get stuck and need it. And then these little... Um, the synthetic shackles. Yes, the shackles. Love those. We've already used them for other things. We used them to tear apart our playground. Really loved them. Yes. Hold this just a little bit. Good. Let me give you another hand again. We got some gloves for when we need to use the rope. You don't want to get too dirty. And we have a knife. Gotta all have that, a knife. All that fits in there with actually a little bit of space. You could squeeze some more stuff in there if you wanted to. Oh, yes. This seals it up. That's awesome. So what's going to go here on the other side? On the this side, we have an air compressor. You gotta have an air. By air. And I think that's the ADP is the model number. We'll put all the links in the... The description of the things we carry. I don't always know the model number, so you just like we need this, but I'm like, okay. Here's some cleaning, heavy duty cleaning wipes, the little tub of towels individually wrapped. So we can love, clean up. love tub of towels. Deep woods off just so it doesn't get depressed in the other, so that we don't end up with bug spray all over our stuff instead of our bodies where it needs to be. Hey, that's a fine Alaskan cologne right there. Right? It's Alaskan moss right here. That's it. All right. Now we have a tire patch kit, and we'll stick that there because it kind of fits with the air compressor. In my mind, things have to go together, so that's how it goes. And again, there's a little bit of room left in there. If we wanted to squeeze a snack or two in there, we could, or some towels for cleanup or drying off things. Awesome, awesome. So this is kind of a little easy mod. Uh, you can see it added those two, but let's see what it did for our container. It's only half full now. Yay, yay. So we can put our coats. We put our coats in here now, or like a rain jacket in case you're going out in inclement weather, which is always kind of fun if you're already wet, get muddy. More snacks. And more snacks. So we can put a lunch back here, or two, or three. Well, awesome. Let's put it in the razor. Awesome. Love this container. So easy to get in and out of here. And again, you can see why we uh, like to keep it really clean. And it's just strictly because, one, storing it, and two, uh, we want to be able to work on it and show you guys little tricks that we're learning along the way. And I thank you for all your recommendations. We've learned a lot from all our followers. We thank you again. We've almost hit that 400 mark, so I'm very excited about something I'm going to show you here shortly that we're going to uh, be giving out. So pretty cool. So this now, look, see, it all looks like it flows we like that it's all black and it matches the razor and that it's all secured in there and easy to remove and um, store. So. Awesome, awesome. Uh, some of y'all uh, are probably wondering what that is that we have inside there on the brown scraps. But I want to show you what we've done. I guess you move the razor here. I love these dollies. Help it move really easy. We added a camel pack. And we actually went with a Camel Pack brand. This is the, the, the military grade one. So it has a, an on off switch uh, for the water, uh, a little push button as well. And it has, it has a bigger fill and it hangs right here. So it's a great, uh, great way to keep water on the trail and uh, easy, easy mod. And we'll share because, you know, it's okay. Yes, yeah, she'll share with me. And, uh, well, you can, you can freeze it, is what's cool. Our son is, who is in the Army, he's a, the Cavs Scout, very proud of him, gave us the idea of filling it half full, freezing it, and the obviously as it melts, it gives you water, but it keeps the water cold as well all day long. And he's been all over the world, so proud of our kids, um, and so he knows what works and what doesn't work. So we're going to use his advice in keeping hydrated. Hey guys, I really understand what's saying we got something special.
special and we're really excited about. We had Jeremy Ellsworth Designs design us a logo to help us with our eraser. And we got some stickers made. Sweet stickers. Everybody loves stickers. Kids love stickers. Adults love stickers. My husband has them all over his tool chest in his garage. So my kids have them all over their doors. We just like stickers. Okay, guys, the first 100 of y'all that share, subscribe, and put your address in, we will send you a sticker. Please don't put your address in the comments. That's private information you don't want in the comments. You can send it in a private message on YouTube or Instagram. But if you can share and subscribe and make sure you like and send us your address, we will send you a cool sticker. And how much? How much is it? Free. Free. free it's free. Yeah. Free stickers to the first hundred that send us your address. Like and subscribe. Share it. Tell your friends. We're trying to grow this channel. So get a free sticker. Uh, just to say thank you. We've hit three over 350 and we're so excited. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching again our channel. We're so glad that you're with us. And again, free stickers for the first 100 that... Uh, subscribe to us, share, tell your friends. We're trying to grow our channel and uh, just real people serving the real God in the real world, having a great time together with my beautiful bride. And we want to send you a free sticker. It's Wall Supplies Last. Send us your address privately. Don't put it in the comments. And uh, just to keep you safe. And we're so thankful for you. But most of all, I pray that you have an amazing and wonderful, blessed every day. And stay with your focus.